In today's video, we're going to unbox, review, and demonstrate the usage of an extremely useful device for HVAC, plumbing, and industrial professionals, the Unity UT366A Digital Manometer. This is not just your regular pressure meter. It can measure gauge pressure, differential pressure, and even wind speed when used with a pitot tube. Let's get started with the unboxing. It comes packed in a sturdy cardboard box. When we open it, we find two things inside, a black pouch and a plastic bag. Let's look at the plastic bag first. This includes a flexible pressure hose and a magnetic hook, both useful accessories that come with the device. Now let's check out the black pouch. Inside the pouch, we get the UT366A digital manometer itself, three AAA batteries so we can use it straight out of the box, a user manual, and a couple of certification cards. Everything is neatly packed and ready for industrial use. So that's what we get in the box. Now, let's take a quick look at the technical specifications of the UT366A digital manometer. First, the pressure measurement range includes 1, plus or minus 15.00 kilopascals, 2, plus or minus 150.0 millibars, 3, plus or minus 0 0.150 bars, 4, plus or minus 2.175 pounds per square inch. 5, plus or minus 112.5 millimeters of mercury. 6, plus or minus 60.29 inches of water. 7, plus or minus 4.429 inches of mercury. 8, plus or minus 34.80 ounces per square inch. 9, plus or minus 0.152 kilograms per square centimeter. 10, plus or minus 5.026 feet of water. 11, plus or minus 1,531 millimeters of water. 12, plus or minus 150.0 hectopascals. For wind speed measurement, the UT366A works in 1, 0 to 19,999.9 meters per second. 2, 0 to 199,999 feet per minute. Now, let's talk about the resolution. 1, 0 0.01 kilopascals. 2, 0 0.1 millibars. 3, 0 0.001 bars. 4, 0 0.001 pounds per square inch. 5, 1 feet per minute for wind speed. 6, 0 0.1 millimeters of mercury. 7, 0 0.01 inches of water. 8, 0 0.001 inches of mercury. 9, 0 0.1 hectopascals. The accuracy of this device is plus or minus 0.5% of full scale at 25 degrees Celsius. The manometer runs on three AAA batteries, and with regular use, you get 50 hours of battery life without the backlight or 30 hours with the backlight on. It operates in environments with temperatures between 0 to 50 degrees Celsius and up to 85% relative humidity. All right, let's understand how to use the UT366A digital manometer. It's user-friendly once you know what each button does. There are four main buttons on the device. Hold, on and off. Unit, 0. Select, P1, P2. And the mode button. Let's start from the top. To turn the device on, just long press the hold button. Do the same to turn it off. Now, when you short press the hold button, it holds the current reading on the screen, helpful when you want to note it down or show someone else. Next, there's the unit button. When you press it briefly, it allows you to switch between available units like pascal, kilopascal, millimeter of mercury, inch of water, psi and so on. If you long press the unit button, the device will perform zero calibration, it sets the reference point before taking measurements. Then we have the P1 slash P2 button. By default, when you start the device, it shows P1 minus P2, which is the pressure difference. But with short presses, you can change the display to show P1 minus P2 divided by P1. P1 minus P2 divided by P2 or just P1 divided by P2. Now the mode button. When you short press it, you can view average, minimum, and maximum readings. 
and when you long press the mode button, it turns on the backlight for easier viewing in low light. Lastly, there's a handy shortcut, if you press hold and unit together, you enter the menu settings. Inside the menu, you can, turn off the auto power off feature. Change the wind speed units. And even adjust the air density depending on your environment. So once you know the buttons, it's really simple and smooth to operate. Let's now talk about how to take care of your UT366 A digital manometer so it stays accurate and lasts longer. Here are some simple maintenance tips. Always store the device in its pouch after use. It protects the screen and keeps dust away. Avoid using it in extremely humid or dusty environments for long periods. Keep the hose and pressure ports clean, use dry air to remove debris if needed. Don't try to measure liquid pressure with this device, it's designed for air or non-corrosive gases only. Replace the batteries as soon as the battery indicator shows low power. Use only new AAA batteries. Let's look at some quick troubleshooting tips if your UT366A digital manometer isn't behaving as expected. 1. Device not turning on? Check if the batteries are inserted correctly or need to be replaced. 2. Unstable or flickering readings? Try zeroing the device, long press the unit button to calibrate it back to zero. 3. Backlight not working? Just long press the mode button to toggle the screen light. 4. Stuck on a strange unit? Press the unit button to toggle between available units until you find the right one. And here are some quick display indicators you should know. If you see OL or minus OL, it means the pressure is out of measurable range, try adjusting your source. LO in wind mode means the airflow is too low or the pitot tube might be connected in reverse. A flashing minus sign dash means the reading should be zeroed, just recalibrate it. ERR on the screen suggests the temperature compensation sensor could be faulty. If you're ever unsure, always refer to the user manual. It has detailed troubleshooting steps. Now where exactly can you use this digital manometer? Well, it's a really handy tool in many areas. In air conditioning and ventilation systems, to check airflow or pressure across filters and vents. In factories, to see if machines or fans are working properly by checking pressure. In science labs, to measure air pressure in experiments. In clean rooms, to make sure the pressure difference is just right. Even in cars, to test vacuum lines or pressure sensors. It's small, accurate, and super useful in many industries. So that was everything you need to know about the UT366A digital manometer, from unboxing to using it the right way, plus handy maintenance and troubleshooting tips. If you're looking to buy this product, you can visit our website. www.radicaltechmart.com Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this helpful. See you in the next video.